Hey guys, welcome back to IO. I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergie, not Ron McKenzie the Virgin. Ron McKenzie Lafergie. Just so happens that I'm also a virgin. Just kidding, or am I? Who knows? But there's no time for that. I've got Nessie news and I need to talk about it. If you want to remain overloaded with information, smack that thumbs up button and subscribe to Inform Overload. And now, the Loch Ness Monster. So it's looking like the mystery of the Loch Ness Monster may soon be put to bed, thanks to some pretty damn interesting new scientific techniques involving DNA. Ever since the 6th century, legends have told of a giant water creature living beneath the surface of Loch Ness in Scotland. Sightings have abounded and many have been disproven, but that hasn't stopped thousands of people from trying to solve the mystery of this great beast. However, a team of international scientists are now hoping to provide the first concrete evidence of Nessie, and they may find success with the use of environmental DNA sampling. This technique samples the DNA in the environment, or eDNA, in order to monitor and study creatures without actually having to test the creatures themselves. And since we've never actually gotten so much as a good look at Nessie, this would be a great Great way to see what's up. This technique is relatively new. It was pioneered by the Human Genome Project, but it's been quite successful. Recently, it helped to discover six new species of sharks in Pacific waters, thanks to the strange DNA found in the water samples. Now, it should be mentioned that these scientists don't have their hopes set on finding some prehistoric beast, since it's far more likely that people who thought they saw Nessie actually saw a large catfish or a sturgeon. But while the whole Nessie thing is the most newsworthy aspect of this search, even if they don't find a huge sea monster, they'll still learn a good deal about Loch Ness and the creatures found. Found there. So while this mystery has yet to be completely solved, it's looking like we'll soon have a much clearer picture of life in the lock. So yes, the title is a bit clickbaity since it isn't technically solved yet, but what can you do? To paraphrase Melisandre from Game of Thrones, YouTube is dark and full of clickbait. What do you guys think of all this? Are you excited, nervous, neutral? Let me know in the comment section down below. Personally, Nessie is my absolute favorite mythical creature and I would be so psyched to find out she's real, even though she almost certainly isn't. But for now, let's highlight some comments from past videos. Videos. For Andre Biarkel, or however that name is supposed to be pronounced, I'm so sorry for slaughtering it, says, Hey Ron, why are you the filler? Why aren't we seeing you often on IO videos? Well, I actually work on three other channels as well, Top 10 Nerd, Top 10 Gaming, and Life's Biggest Questions. But Charlotte and I work for the same company, we actually sit next to each other, so I fill in here when she's away. TMR Media 69 says, don't take drugs, kids. Just thought that was a good message. Full Myth says, I love Ron, even though he could read at least three comments instead of two so that I have a higher chance of getting in the video. Eh? Huh? Yeah. That's it for today guys, hope you enjoyed, if you like the cut of our jib, smack that thumbs up button and subscribe to IO to remain overloaded with that sweet information. Make sure to check out this video about a man's experience in the afterlife, or maybe this one about that infamous Nicole Arbor video, but first maybe head down to the comment section to let me know what you think of this story, tell a joke, tell a riddle, or you know, ask me a question. I'll see you guys in the comments and in the next video, later taters.